Hey guys, Marvel Master here, and today I'm going to be doing a full extensive guide over my first rank 4 6 star, who was Hulkbuster. Now, in this video, I'm going to try and go over every single ability of his and just try to fill it all into a video that's hopefully under 20 minutes. I doubt that's gonna happen, but um, 20 to 30 minutes is the goal. Doubt I'll get there, but first things first, you know, biggest factor in rank fours right now, you know, we're just gonna look at the rank four aspect. His prestige is terrible. It's so bad. Like, it's ridiculous how terrible his prestige is. So if you're going for prestige, don't rank 4 Hulkbuster. But then, looking at base stats, he's got quite a bit of health for a rank 4 6 star. 46,000 and then 4,000 attack rating. Pretty good. Um, I think Sasquatch has the most health and he's got like 65,000 or something like that, but Hulkbuster's still got a lot of health, plus with the signature ability, he gets that, it's like 50% of his health back from 16% when Sig 200, but, um, you know, looking at more base stats, uh, crit rating, 15%, it's not the greatest, but, um, Still better than quite a few champions. Crit damage rating 1.5k or 1.5, basically. It's not the best attack rate. Uh, crit damage rating like Warlock has, I think it's like almost three times the damage when he crits. But then, um, you know, that's different conversation, different champion. Um, he doesn't have any armor penetration, block penetration, or critical resistance, um, which is definitely kind of sad. Um, I feel like since he's kind of like, you know, Iron Man, I would think, you know, like in his description, like he would have, um, he would have like a way to break through the opponent's block using um, all the gadgets and the technology with the armor. But, um, he does have plus 30% armor rating, which is good. And, uh, block proficiency, it's not the greatest. Um, if we look at, let's see, Mr. Negatives, his is also pretty bad. Um, percentage. You know, he's got a 57.8% block, uh, block proficiency. So he's not, his block proficiency isn't that great when you compare it to, like, um, Captain America Infinity War, Scorpion, they have like 77% um, block proficiency around there. So his base stats, to be honest, they aren't all that great. They aren't all that great. But what um, Hulk Blackster does have going for him is he can increase his damage pretty easily and pretty significantly with his special attacks and um, when he places shock debuffs or there are shock debuffs on the opponent. You know, I don't think passives count towards the increase. I believe it's just uh, debuffs, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, uh, tags, let's do that next. So he is um, a defensive tank, so he did count for this month's or this week's Eternity of Pain Bishop, so we got that one objective done, and then the initial um, defeat of Bishop also gives uh, one additional uh, token, I guess. But um, he's a hero, he's metal, he's XL, he's an Avenger. A lot of Alliance War tags, you know, we got slowly roll, so if you have an armor up and you heavy attack, you place a slow on the opponents, I believe. But then uh, for defense, he's got unstoppable armor, sick and tired, and then conduit. I don't know what that node does. Um, yeah, I don't know what the 
trying to do it. No one was, but that one's, that's for season 36. We're in season 35 right now. Uh, we'll get to synergies next. All right, let's start looking at his base kit. Here his abilities. So he's got two modes. One is a, an attacker and one is a defender. So as an attacker, he's in giant buster mode. So he, he gains attack rating based on how large the opponent is. And it's quite a bit, to be honest, just for, you know, natural... Um, you know, just naturally going up against opponents, you have increased attack rating. Um, so that's really nice. But then, here's the biggest thing. Okay, so it is shock effects. So you get a thousand attack rating, 1,015 attack rating per each shock effect on the opponent. So passives and debuffs count towards this. So you can get, um, I think like the max I've had without having... Um, a node that increases my debuff duration. You can have like eight extra shock debuffs on the opponent, and then if you throw a special three, you can get that up to eleven. But you would have to throw the other two first. Yada yada yada. But the most you're really ever gonna have on the opponent at one time is eight to nine. So that's an extra eight to nine thousand attack rating on your four thousand attack rating. So you would get. Math, 12 to 13,000 attack rating, which is pretty dang good. And then, uh, fighting as a defender enhances uh, Hulkbuster's defense abil defensive abilities. And that's really for, you know, like alliance or defense, or if you're coming up against him in a quest. Um, passive, he gains an armor up buff, increasing armor rating by 388 per armor up and it's not a bad armor up it's not bad especially the since you can stack it but if you compare it to like war machines armor up is that his armor up is like 2000 so comparing um war machines 2000 armor rating armor up to hulk this hulkbusters Let's just round up and say 400 armor, armor, uh, English. Um, it's not that great, but the thing is, you can stack these up to four with the synergy, and I'll get to that a little later. But um, certified every 15 seconds, he can gain um, in giant buster mode, which is when you're ever going to use him on attack. You can have a max stack of two without looking at the signature ability which we'll get to after reading all the abilities and then in when he's on defense or you're coming across him in a quest he can have a max stack of four so then once brought below 15 percent health per fight you gain a third armor up without using any synergies and then if in iron wall you gain two armor ups so if you're fighting him on defense, and he's got two armor ups, and you push him below 15%, he'll gain two armor ups. So, we, and uh, we, here we go. So, for each armor up, Hulkbuster gains a lot of benefits. So, for each armor up, he gains 942 energy resistance. So, we can have usually a max stack of like 27, 207,000 increased energy resistance, which is really good if you think about it. And then he also gains increased crit damage rating. And then the biggest thing, which I might show off in the, um, you know, more gameplay sec focus section of the video, bleed and poison debuffs suffer 25% potency. So he is suicide masteries friendly because you'll almost always have two armor ups on you so you'll have those debuffs will have minus 50% potency. Um, the bleed will only have 25% since that only lasts for 10 seconds. And then um, his second arm rep won't proc for another 5 seconds. But the, the poison will be reduced by 50% for the most part. And then this is his biggest defense defensive ability. Um, enemy attacks suffer minus 25% or 20% offensive ability accuracy. So, on defense, 
which is where you most likely, uh, you know, see the effects of this ability. Um, the opponent, if you push the, if you push Hulkbuster below eight, uh, fifteen percent, he, you, your attacks will have minus eighty percent offensive ability accuracy. So if you're using, I don't know, Guillotine ninety nine, like in a Karate Mike video. His attacks, one in five of his attacks when using guillotine over 100%, 100 combo meter, they had um, no increased burst damage, so they didn't have the red numbers, which is pretty good for defense, so you can get um, a lot of benefits from that. And then on... Um, it doesn't happen as often on offense. You don't really see it because you're not really getting hit too often. Hopefully. I hope. But um, if there's like a special attack, it, um, like it might hit your block and it might do an effect through there, through the block, um, it has a chance to not trigger because of the offensive ability accuracy reduction. But um, then, on to the last bit of that, enemy attacks also suffer um, minus 144, basically, critical damage rating. So they won't, the crit won't crit as hard. Yeah, that makes sense. But then, um, when struck by critical hits, 60% uh, chance to consume one arm rep buff to inflict a shock debuff, dealing 2,500... 2,356 energy damage over 10 seconds. That's just a little bit stronger than his heavy shock debuffs. But um, heavy attacks, 100% chance to inflict a shock debuff, dealing 1,994 energy damage over 10 seconds. Pretty good. And then special attacks, 100% chance to inflict an armor break debuff, removing one armor buff and reducing armor rating by... 1300, not 1300, 3300 for 20 seconds. That's where he starts hitting hard, is because of the armor break. That, you know, you can have as many shocks as in the opponent. Um, you can have like, what is it, like five or six shocks, you know, and then with that armor break, you'll be doing really insane damage, which I will show later we're already at 13 minutes i'm not even done with his abilities jesus all right special one so 100 percent chance to stun for 1.5 seconds so that's if you just throw it right into the opponent right after you combo them you stun them for 1.5 seconds now with hulk buster you want to always throw specials into the block you always want to do it unless you're fighting havoc do not throw a special one into Havoc's block, it'll remove your armor ups, as you can see from this second bullet point in the abilities. If the opponent block is broken by the attack, all of Hulk Hulkbuster's armor ups are consumed to add 1.25 seconds duration to the stun debuff for each armor consumed this way. So you can, if you got like a lot of armor up buffs from a node or something, and you throw that into the block, each armor up will add duration to the stun and you can use that to finish out a lot of fights and it's really nice um but special too this is the one you'll almost always want to go for there are some niche situations like um first one i think of um mr sinister mr Sim <laughs> sinister i can't speak english today so, Mr. Sinister is immune to unblockable, um, I believe it's both special attacks and basic attacks while blocking. So, you can't really throw Hulkbuster's special 2 into his block to, um, as you can see, um, if his opponent's block is broken by this attack, all beam attacks have a 100% chance to inflict power burn, draining one bar of power per hit and inflicting direct damage proportional to the power drain. So if Mr. Sinister's at a special three and you need to drain his power, 
if you throw this special two into the block, it will not power drain him or um, break his block at all. So that's a niche situation where you wouldn't want to use the special two. But then, um, next bullet point, 100% uh, chance to power lock, severing the target's flow of power for three seconds. Now this happens on every hit, so each hit of Hulkbuster's special two will power lock the opponent for three seconds. So, um, you won't, like, when you first throw the special two, that initial power lock will not, um, expire by the time the special two is over, which is really nice. Now, special three, uh, this deck drains 50% of the opponent's current power. This is where, this is one of those niche, niche situation, um, times where you would want to use, like, if you can't power drain the opponent with special two, you go for the special three to power drain them. So, and then it inflicts up to three shock debuffs, each having an 80% chance to activate, dealing um, the same damage as a heavy shock, so 1,994 energy damage over 20 seconds. So these these shocks are really nice because they last longer, and they're kind of almost guaranteed to place, you know, 80% chance, that's four out of five. You know, there's still a one in five chance for them not to place, but more often than not, they will place. And so you'll have that um, increased 3,000 attack rating for 20 seconds, which is 10 seconds more than all the other shocks you can place on the opponent. And then lastly, it triggers um, an unblockable buff. Um, it gains four and a half seconds of duration, so you can break through the opponent's block if the special three does not kill them, and then you can combo them to death. Short, sweet, and simple. Now, special three. Or not special three, signature ability. So the signature ability is more so important for, like, Alliance Ward defense purposes. I took mine to SIG 200 because... Um, when I was in a competitive alliance, I'm kind of taking a break from that because I got um, a lot of stuff on my hands um, with work and everything. So I'm not in a competitive alliance, but I sig 200 him because I wanted I wanted him to be sig 200 because he's my favorite t champion in the game. Plus, um, I'm a scrub and I'm terrible at this game, so. Um, 100% chance to activate a self-repair buff lasting 12 seconds and recovering 21,845 health. That's where the scrub portion comes in. That this, is, this saves me a lot because I am terrible at this game. So having basically an extra 50% health to work with in a fight is really, really nice. I can't tell you how many times... This has saved me in questing, and, um, like, for example, latest example, um, 7.4 King, um, he was really good with that, and that kind of clutched it out, um, you know, and then, uh, in Giant Buster, so your attack mode, um, you'll gain 4,000 attack rating while self-repair is active, so, while, for 12 seconds, basically, your attack rating is doubled, which can be really good if you throw the special two into their block when self-repair basically activates, and then you just go ham throwing heavies like you just don't care. And then for defense, 45% um, self-repair potency, so you'll almost gain another, um, almost gain another 10,000 health, so... And this does scale with um, base uh, with nodes and everything, so you won't heal like if you throw him on defense and alliance ward, he will heal, you know, like almost half his health with that health pool rather than just like thirty thousand health, which is really nice. I just realized I've spent nineteen minutes talking about Hulk Buster's abilities, and I haven't even done synergies yet. Yeah, this is not going to be a 30-minute video. All right, so synergies he has just with himself, you know, not looking at other champions um, that don't appear in this little synergy bonuses list. Um, 
technological completion, um, Hulkbuster when launching a special attack, he'll convert one armor up buff into a fury buff that lasts 10 seconds, so just about as long as your, no, never mind about that, so he'll gain a fury buff, um, increasing attack rating by 30% for 10 seconds, that's really good, and um, I th al almost always had this synergy um, when doing um, the boss solos portion of my um, rank 4 Hulk Hulkbuster showcase. I almost always had this synergy because it's just nice to have. And um, it's not with the greatest champion, but when using Hulkbuster, uh, increased attack rating is really nice. And then Yellow Jacket gains increased power sting potency. It's pretty good, but you're not really going to use um, Yellow Jacket that much. And now with Hulkbuster, or Hulk or Hulk Ragnarok, uh, Hulkbuster gains up to a thousand armor rating um, based on how low his health currently is, which is really nice if you're in like one of those you know niche situations where you've um, activated your weakened ability. If you're awakened and you've got that region, but you just kind of get clapped back down to lower health so the armor rating is really nice to have um this synergy is also really good for hulk specifically too because um he gains immunity to nullify fate seal and st stagger for those niche situations like um i use the word niche a lot like i think it was um barrel man barrel man barrel man he used hulk against um uh, the 6.2.5 Mordo boss just showcasing this energy. I think that was that one. What was that was? I don't remember. But, um, and then Ragnarok, Hulk Ragnarok, he gains a thousand. Um, physical resistance based on how high the crowd meter is, that's not good. Not as good. Um, Hulk Buster here. So, um, each shock debuff during the opponent's. Each shock debuff reduces the opponent's offensive ability. Up. Ability accuracy during special attacks by 15%. This is really good too, where um, if you can't dex a special attack, um, if you've got enough shocks on the opponent, um, if, the, if the opponent's special attacks places like debuffs through the block, um, if you've got enough shock debuffs on the opponent, then that will, won't trigger. And then you just got um, these kind of, kind of, be honest, useless synergies. Um, you know, got family, um, enemies, and rivals. Um, and then, I'll, so uh, two other synergies that I used with Hulkbuster was Sorcerer Supreme and the. Um, synergy that she gives Hulkbuster is, um, it's the House of Iron synergy, and, uh, with the synergy members, um, armor rig debuffs inflicted on the opponent have 30% increased potency, so an extra 30%, um, increased potency to that already massive, uh, 3300 armor break, you're gonna have rounding and estimating, you'll have, you know, maybe 4300, um, reduced armor on the opponent versus, um, 3,300 reduction. So that's pretty good. I also kind of had this synergy a lot, too. Um, what was the other synergy? Oh, so this, this synergy with Sasquatch. This is, um, the synergy I was talking about, um, where if you have four armor ups, um, you will have minus 100% uh, decreased potency to bleed and poison effects. So this is with Sasquatch. So, you know, at the start of fight, he'll gain an, another inc definite armor up buff, granting 15% um, armor rating. So, the, so in the fight, you'll immediately have two armor up buffs due to this synergy. And so, over time, if you trigger the, um, signature ability, you'll have four armor-ups, and then 
bleed and poison will be reduced to 100% potency, so you won't take damage from them, which is really nice and niche situation usage. I never used it in the gameplay videos, or the gameplay video, but um, I'll try to showcase that in this video. So, and then one more. So this one isn't really a synergy, but War Machine really does pair nicely with Hulkbuster, just because War Machine's pre-fights are really nice um, to use with Hulkbuster. Plus, um, synergy he has with Hulkbuster, um, armor ups gain 25% um, duration, potency, and ability accuracy. So, this is really the potency portion, which is really good for Hulkbuster, because um, on their own, they don't really do all that much. So, having increased potency for those armor ups is really nice. Now, um, and then he also gets uh, friends synergy with him. But those are the important synergies for Hulkbuster. Those are his best synergies, in my opinion. Now, um, we'll go into gameplay portion of um, this video and I'll just show off you know general rotation you will want to use with Hulkbuster how to bait the opponent into um, blocking your special attacks and then um, best uses um, kind of impossible matchups I'll say and then his best matchups okay so, just going to show off Hulkbuster in Labyrinth of Legends, you know, no synergies, nothing, none of that, only have White Magneto to showcase Hulkbuster to his fullest potential because in Labyrinth there's Limber, and Hulkbuster kind of needs to stun a lot. So, right here you'll see me parry medium heavy, that's basically what I'll do up to special 2. You want weave in as many heavy attacks as possible just to increase your attack rating and get you that special two closer so get you closer to that special two and when you get your sb2 then you can get the opponent power locked and power drained now you'll see right there i did a medium light 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 paused a split second and then threw the special two and star lord blocked that's what you'll want to do to get a more aggressive ai opponent to block your special two so you power drain them and you can start throwing heavies like no tomorrow and you'll see you start hitting pretty hard once you do that and that's really hulkbuster's main rotation just build to your special two using quite a few heavies and then just throw it off while the opponent is blocking you know you'll do your medium light 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 special two and then block it and they'll die. It's basically how the fight goes. Now you see, I, I just recorded an entire Labyrinth fight. I didn't know how long I was going to take to explain it. But, um, you know, with each shock debuff, you see, you know, your, with your attack keeps increasing and decreasing because they're expiring. But, um, you know, Hulkbuster hits pretty hard. You know, you, right there you saw 28k heavy attack and there were some 15k medium crits and like 7k light light crits and all that good stuff like right there there was 7k and then the special two crits hit, it's pretty hard too you know there was first hit crit for 20k and then there was a 25k heavy attack you know Hulkbuster deals damage there, there, there's no doubt about it He he's not a pillow like Ma is with his basic attacks like he hits like a truck once you get going and you know compared to some others in the tech class no he doesn't have the most utility you know he like if you compare him to ghost he can't d remove all um, damaging debuffs from himself by dashing back, like, no, and, like, if you look at Omega Sentinel, um, 
you know, he doesn't have heel block, he doesn't have tracking, he doesn't have cowardice, none of that. But he's fun to play, and he's, in my opinion, for most lanes in questing and just general content, he'll be one of the best lane clearers you have if you have him ranked up now you know if there's if it's like freezer burn or hazard shift no he's not going to be great but if you know it's just general things and it's got nodes you know that like increase their power gain or um like what's it called they got um energize that's what it's called like yeah whole question is not going to be the greatest but can you get it done yes and you know i'm kind of playing this fight really poorly in the background as you can see but um you know i've taken eight hits from labyrinth star lord and most of them crit and i'm still above 50 percent health right now and you know it's just because he's a tank you know, even without um, War Machine Prevites or anything to increase his armor up potency or health. Like, yes, there are, you know, he's pretty easy to fight if you come across him as a defender. You know, you got your Hercules, CGR, Hyperion, like any cosmic character basically can kick Hulkbusters, but, but, he can still, if you don't bring in, like, a cosmic champion against him, you know, he's, he'll get you shot. He has the shocks, the armor breaks. If you, um, if you get hit by the special two, it'll deal some damage. How did I talk, for, what was I even talking about before I was talking about this? I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking anyways, but, um, it's just, he's not the top of the tech class. But in my opinion, he's better than a lot of them. And it's just... Who doesn't want to just kind of parry heavy? You know, when you see the damage that comes off of his heavy attacks... Why wouldn't you want to heavy... Um, why wouldn't you want to throw heavies? Now, now that kind of the gameplay is done, it's just going to repeat until I cut it off. Um, talking about Hulkbuster's heavy attack... I hate, hate how short it is. And you saw quite a few times, I believe, in the video, um, there were times where I misspaced the heavy attack, and you kind of went nowhere with it, and it didn't hit Star-Lord, and I got countered for it. That's my biggest gripe about Hulkbuster, you know, maybe if he had... I think kind of Legacy made this comparison too, but um, if he had, he kind of slid into it like Captain Marvel movie does to give him more range on that heavy attack, he'd be so much better and more used just because you have the reliance of that increased distance on the heavy attack. That's honestly my biggest problem with him is just how short the heavy attack is. But now... On to what? What did I have next? Best matchups. That's right. So, uh, <laughs> so as you guys can see here, um, I kind of stole this recording from my own YouTube video. I didn't have um, the video in my uh, files, and I honestly didn't want to go through it again. But this is arguably Hulkbuster's best matchup in the game. Just, um, due to the nodes, there's, um, 200% increased attack rating while the opponent is, um, suffering from a shock effect, and then there's thunderstru thunderstrucks, there's 90% reduced damage, plus, um, you have this node where, um, each hit on a special attack using a tech champion, um, places a shock effect on the opponent and as you can see the fight is over 
he hit a 70k heavy attack and a 112,000 special one. If that's not Hulkbuster's best matchup in the game, and that's a 7.4 boss, I don't know what is. Now I have one more clip to show you of um, arguably's best matchup, and um, this one was from a while ago. This was the Sauron boss. Um, this one is also stolen from my YouTube channel. And, you know, you see, Sauron, he's already dead. 71k heavy attack. Now, this was with a rank 3 Hulkbuster. Hulk, rank 4s weren't introduced yet. But, still shows you how much damage this guy can do with the right matchup, with the right nodes. And, you know, best matchup, the best node matchup combo for Hulkbuster is a... Mutant champion with a heavy assault node on there. Best matchup by far. You know, even against, you know, the G1899 fight with the node that, you know, placed all those shocks. Heavy assault is Hulkbuster's best node combo because he does so much damage with the heavy attacks and they're always getting more and more powerful. And you can land like five or six heavy attacks after the special two. But those are his best matchups. How about the worst? So Hulkbuster in reality has a lot of worst matchups, just like every champion in the game. But in my opinion, the worst matchups have got to be Venom and Venom, Mr. Sinister, which I already talked about. And Venom Pool. Now, Venom, you know, you can shock him, you know, you just get that standard rotation, you know, beta special attacks and everything. And, you know, you just get to your SP2 and then you'll be fine, right? Well, if you watch it here, I'm gonna combo into my special 2. And you see his armor broken and he gets the power lock. But, he doesn't get power drain, which is a big thing about Hulkbuster. And now here, um, against Venom Pool, you know, same sort of thing. We're going, we're going to throw our special two any second now. And then, watch. He's immune, first off, he's immune to the armor break from attack champions. And then he's immune to the power burn. Now, I also didn't showcase it, but, um... Venom Pool, when fighting tech champions, is also immune to shock, debuffs, and effects. So, your heavy attacks wouldn't place shocks, your special 3 wouldn't place shocks. It's just not a good day for Hulkbuster. So that's really all the gameplay that I have, or I'm going to showcase. Um, I couldn't really find a great spot to showcase uh, the offensive ability accuracy reduction. Um, but, you know... Hulkbuster, he's a really, really good champion. You know, he's got a lot of things going on about him. He's simple to use. He's, you know, pretty calm. And he's in the basic pool for every crystal. Um, I bet sooner rather than later, Kabam will feature him as a monthly login champion. He's bound to be one. But I'm going to skew off the side here um is we're gonna pull a vega is hulkbuster right for your account i'd say if you have a nimrod or like an omega sentinel or you you enjoy playing ghost honestly i would say no unless you want to rank him up you know like he because he's your favorite champion and you or you really like using him i would say no Yes, they can't power drain the opponent, and no, they don't have, you know, this massive regeneration from, you know, like, their signature ability and everything, but their prestige is better, their base stats are better, besides health, and all around, they're more usable champions, you know, for one of the biggest pieces of 
content in the game right now, you know, Alliance War and then Battlegrounds actually too. Um, people have masteries in those areas of the game, which kind of sucks for Hulkbuster, to be honest. Biggest master, re biggest reason I say that is because of Stand Your Ground, and Hulkbuster's heavy attack is a one-hit heavy attack. There was one time where I tried to use Hulkbuster in semi-high tier alliance where it was like gold, gold one. That's kind of high tier for some people. But um, I just kept getting resisted when trying to throw my heavy attack. And I would always get countered and I died for it. Which is why, you know, and his biggest damage comes from using heavy attacks and all that good stuff, but, you know, he's a good defender for both of those modes, I won't lie, he's a good defender, I've won a lot of Battlegrounds matches because the opponent is timed out against Hulkbuster because they didn't have a great counter, and he's also just flat out killed, um, you know, good counters, I know he, um, there were a couple times where he... Killed a KO to CGR, Hercules, and a Hyperion. My phone, alright. And he's a good defender. It's just, as an attacker, mastery. When the opponent has a standard ground, really kind of falls off. Because his heavy attack is only one hit. And that's just like when you're using him in competitive alliance, um, competitive aspects of the game, and, um, it's just, he can be easily shut down if the, you can't, um, get to your special two to power lock the opponent, he's not all that great, and, he, um, if there's, like, small arms, that node where each heavy attack does reduce damage really sucks there, and, you know, there's just all these things that can make him kind of unusable, I'll say, compared to other champions where they have multiple sources of damage output so if one of them is cut off like they can't use a special attack or something they have another means of damage which is the one thing I don't really enjoy about Hulkbuster because really he's got um, you know just hitting the opponent and shock, shock debuffs his basic attacks can hit pretty hard, but he needs to throw a special to get that armor break, so they do hit hard, and then he needs shock debuffs to increase his damage as well. And if you can't have one or either of those, he's not that great. And there's a lot of champions like this where, you know, they got one source of damage output, and a lot of nodes can counter that, so they're you know, you rely on, like, a top-tier champion to do it because they have multiple sources of damage. And, sadly, Hulkbuster is one of those champions that you, he's... Realistically, he's only got one source of damage because his shocks, even though you can stack them and everything, they don't deal that much damage. Now, that's another gripe I have about him, but... If... I'd say if you are kind of just going through the game, you know, you get a four-star Hulkbuster when you start out, you can get through a lot of content with him. I'd say you could probably push through Act 4 alone with Hulkbuster. It's like... He's really good for newer players, and, you know, if you get a... He's good, um, he's a good path clearer, he's a good lane clearer. You know, if you want to bring in multiple options for the boss or something, and you have a Hulkbuster ranked up, most of the time, you know, he can clear through the paths and everything. It's just... There are better champions than Hulkbuster. And... That's really the thing. And everyone wants to use better champions. You know, they want to have 
top of the class, you know, like Omega Sentinel and um, Nimrod are the best tech champions in the game. Um, I'm excluding Ghost from that list because um, it's Ghost. But I'd say if you're Thronebreaker looking for Paragon or if you're a later tier Thronebreaker player, I wouldn't rank Hulkbuster unless it's for Lion's War defense, or you enjoy the champion. But if you're if you got a Hulkbuster and you have you know a Tech T5 CC, and you've beaten X6, do it. Rank three Hulkbuster. He, you know, he might not be the best, but he's certainly not the worst. He's top ten Tech champion in my opinion, in a lot of people's opinion. And it's just kind of hate to see, you know, how unused he is in the community, I guess I'll put it. Because, you know, I got, um, I know a lot of people that, um, flat out won't rank Hulkbuster just because, um, even though they have, like, an Ultron, they'll just, they're not going to use him, they'll just have him there for synergy purposes. But, like, he can do so much, and it's just... I don't know what to say, but yeah, if you're, if you're Cavalier or you're, you know, you're pushing Cavalier up to early, early Thronebreaker title progression, I would say, in my opinion, unless you enjoy the champion more and, you know, you're mid to later tier Thronebreaker player or Paragon. I wouldn't rank Hulkbuster up unless you enjoy playing him. It's for Alliance Ward defense, stuff like that. But if you're, you know, just getting Thronebreaker and you have a Hulkbuster, do it. Frickin' do it. You know, but I guess that's all I got for Hulkbuster. It's guide, info, uh, opinions. I don't know. If you have anything in the comments, let me know. I'll respond, probably. Might take a day or two. But, yeah. I hope that this helped you um, with your questions. You know, helped you learn something more about Hulkbuster. You know, if you were deciding between, you know, Hulkbuster and a different champion, that helps ease that decision. But, yeah, I know if you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments down below.